Well, hey guys, I'm here for a second installment um, to show uh, uh, another demonstration of this Sistico Mineral Bond um, manicure system. Um, so, if you've seen the dip powders in the salons, uh, that's been around for a little while now. Well, this is similar to that, but it does have some distinct differences. So, you do have a mineral powder and they come in these little pots, but you're not dipping your fingers into them. Um, instead, uh, you're applying a base coat and or a top coat. Um, different types of uh, the powders require different types of application. Um, and then the powders are applied using uh, this little application tool. Um, if you have ever used a beauty blender or something of that sort, it's sort of the same type of material that beauty blenders are made out of. Um, so I'm going to link my first application uh, in the description below so you can go back and watch that and see my first attempt at this, which was actually pretty good. I'm not mad about it. But in that video, I show you more of the preparatory process, you know, as far as prepping the nail, cuticles, and so forth. So I'm not going to do all that in this video. I'm just going to skip right into the application. Um, one of the things that I realized in my last application uh, was I didn't quite do it right. Uh, I thought I had followed the directions pretty exactly, but realized um, later that I had not. Um, so one of the things I want to point out to you is in the booklet, it does tell you how to apply the different types of powders. So this is how to apply the classic powders. And then this is how to apply the holographic and metallic powder. So you say, how do you know the difference? Well, on each little pot of the mineral bond um, powder, it says holographic or it says classic range or um, it says metallic. So that's how you know uh, which one to use. So what I did wrong in the last application, so it gives you two different options. It's for a long wear, you apply a thin layer of the base coat and do not set it, then immediately go in with a layer of the top coat. And then you cure it using the UV light that comes with the kit. Um, what I did wrong was I just dipped the applicator into the powder and then kind of tapped it off on the lid and then just lightly dabbed it on. Um, and according to this, what I should have done uh, was rubbed it back and forth. So really kind of buffed it in and then repeated as necessary. Uh, and I wished I had done that because I found that the application was somewhat thin and you could see through it. Um, and I wanted a more opaque application. So I'm going to go for that today. So last time I used the color um, rose gold. This time I'm going to be using... Um, the pink shatter color. Uh, now I did, the kit comes with the base coat, the top coat, two pots for mixing your own custom colors, um, three colors of your choosing of the mineral powders, the, and the UV light. Now I purchased an extra pot of color and I purchased the Express Remover System, this bottle of stuff, for discounted prices. If you'd like to see how the Express Remover works, I will link that video in the description below because I did take you step by step through using this product and gave you my thoughts and impressions of it so that you could be informed and aware if you decide to purchase this system. Something I do want to point out up front um, and make it very clear, I purchased this. This was not sent to me. This company never approached me in any way. I just saw it advertised on Facebook and it was something I had been wanting to try the mineral powders versus the um, dip powders and I had tried UV polish before just really didn't have good success with it. Um, I find that there is not much that will really stick to my natural nails and stay and really hold for at least a week. I'd like to get at least a week out of a manicure and I, I, I've never found anything that really held on to my natural nails that well. What I can tell you after my first somewhat failed attempt, because it wasn't a failed attempt per se, I just wasn't exactly uh, applied correctly. Even with that, I still found that the wear of the product was phenomenal. So I can only imagine with um, a more um, accurate application that it can only get better. 
um, one of the things that I found was in the on the sides of my nails I think I'd applied the top coat too thick on the last coat and so what happened was it didn't really it kind of touched my skin and did not adhere to my nail well so just on those sides on just a uh, three or four of my nails um, I found that it, it where it had done that where the uh, the top coat was too thick and was touching my skin it kind of chipped off the corner of the that side of the nail and I really think that was the issue so I'm gonna try and be a little bit more careful on this application um, to not touch my skin and to make sure the, the top coat is very thick so there's only so much you can do to not apply it thickly but I'm going to try and just really be careful on the sides to not touch this, my cuticles um, and to not have it too thick there so I don't have that issue and see if that helps improve um, with having that chipping on the side. And please forgive, this nail looks dirty. It, it is not so much as that it's just ink that I'm having trouble getting, having a hard time getting off. I was doing some stamping and got a little extra crazy with my inking. And you see there's just a little bit of the sparkle left from the last one. Um, it's still kind of chipping off, but uh, my nails are clean. Uh, my hands are clean. I'm sorry. I don't know why I feel like I need to repeat that. But anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. So the last time I did the, as they recommended for the long wear, I did um, the base coat, didn't cure it, apply the top coat, then cured it, then the powder. This time I'm going to go with the, for the short wear and apply just the top coat and then cure it um, and then go in with the product. So let's see how that works out. Um, I am going to put you guys on fast forward while I do that because you know the old adage be like watching paint dry. So it's kind of how I feel like it might look to you guys just watching me uh, brush top coat onto my fingernails. It might look a bit like watching paint dry. So I'm going to put you on fast forward. Okay, so this is where I think I messed up the last time. Um, I just kind of dabbed the product on, um, but for the holographic and metallic powders, it suggests that you should rub it on. Uh, whereas with the classic powders, it talked about, you know, just gently dabbing it on. So let's try this uh, the way the instructions said. So I am still going to dip in and then tap off the excess but this time we're really gonna kind of rub and buff and it's okay if it gets on your skin uh, as long as you don't get polish over it that powder will just wash right off or dust right off so oh yeah I can see the difference already and how that looks it matters 
and then according to the directions you can reapply to build the opacity oh that that looks a hundred percent better already and do get it on the tips and then make sure when you put on your uh, second top coat that you just try to seal those tips yeah it is it's actually layering up really nicely it's kind of surprising me Oh, that is all the difference in the world. That is gorgeous. I tell you what, pay attention to the directions because buffing the product in does give you a much better application with the holographic powder versus trying to dab it on and it is layering up nicely kind of wishing I'd gotten more of that top coat on the tips of my nails to cap them but Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. I thought the last application was pretty. This is stunning.
Okay, so I do find that a couple of the nails are still kind of tacky, so I'm going to um, go ahead and, and do both hands under the UV light uh, a second time and see if that helps with that tackiness. Okay, and I can definitely say that helped. Um, this nail, a couple of them are still kind of sticky. These two specifically. Um, this hand is great. Everything's dried down. And look at that. I, I can, <laughs> this is amazing. I tell you, this is just amazing. Let me cure this hand one more time. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and um, talk to you guys instead of putting you on fast forward while I cure this one. So this is amazing to me. I have spent less than an hour uh, prepping my nails. Um, now, of course, I did most of my prep, uh, really big prep uh, last week, you know, as far as like pushing my cuticles back, doing a cuticle remover and, and all that good stuff. Now, um, in my last video, I showed you how to use the uh, remover system. Um, and that, that for me was just a few moments ago for you guys. That was a few days ago. Um, but I am going to go in and, uh, uh, put a little TLC into my cuticles because I did find that the remover process, um, uh, did rough them up a little bit. So I'm probably going to do, um, a little bit more, um, cuticle cream, do a little bit of removal of the excess, um, and then put a cuticle oil on them, uh, every morning to help them. Um, recover from that process but I am so incredibly impressed uh, with this I have just never gotten such easy and such beautiful results at home um, from a manicure system I have UV gel polish that I've used that just flakes right off of my nails I've had no good success with it I've used everything from inexpensive to very expensive nail polishes base coats and just have never had this kind of success with a nail polish system really adhering to my nail and lasting for several days without chipping, without rubbing off completely on the tips or chipping on the tips. Um, I am super impressed with this. It wasn't cheap. It was kind of on an expensive side. But for the mileage I think I'm going to get out of it, I think it was probably worth it. Um, and it's hard to say at this point because I do get kind of bored with colors fairly quickly. So I'll probably still have plenty of these powders left before I'll be looking for different colors. And then you have to consider the consumables are going to go. I mean, it's all consumables. But the powders I feel like are going to last a while. What I feel like is going to have to be replaced fairly um, often is, of course, going to be the top coat. Because that's what you use the most of. Especially with the holographic. Now, with the classic powder, you use the base coat. Uh, but with the holographic powders, you're using primarily the top coat because you're putting it as a base coat and as a top coat. Um, so I'm probably going to have to replenish this um, frequently. But I'm anxious to see. So the last time uh, in my first application, I did the base coat and then the top coat, then cured, and then the powder. This time, I'm just doing the top coat and then the powder and then another top coat. So I'm anxious to see if it wears as well or as long um, with this application method because if it does um, I, I don't hardly see the point um, in doing the base coat but we'll see I'm gonna come in just like we did on the last video and give you a check-in every couple of days to let you see how the polish is wearing um, if I'm having any chipping any uh, any rubbing off on the tips but so far, I am super, super impressed with this manicure system.
it, it's better than any UV polish gel polish I've ever used on my natural nails now we go back to the difference in natural nails versus artificial nails things hold up much better on artificial nails than natural nails so anyway well thank you so much for watching and tuning in again for this uh, nail polish application or this manicure system application and my thoughts and impressions on it. I appreciate you guys and I hope that you have a wonderful day and be blessed. Take care now. Bye. Well, hey guys, it's Janine and I am doing a day after check-in on this uh, application. So this is the one where I just did the top coat um, without the base coat first uh, for the long wear. And boy, am I regretting that decision. So this is just day one after application. Now, I'm going to be fair. I was in the kitchen cooking all day and washing dishes. And that usually does wreak havoc on a manicure for me. And it definitely has on this one. So you can see on this nail, big chunk chipped off here. And I've got a big chunk chipped off right there. Um, and the tips are starting to wear uh, pretty noticeably on this manicure. Um, so what I'm going to try to do is just the, the couple of nails where it's really bad, like this one and this one and this one. I'm going to try and, and um, fix it where at least uh, it doesn't look so bad. And hopefully it will last me the rest of the week. And I won't have to reapply before that time. Um, so I'm thinking what I need to do is uh, take this file and kind of smooth that area out a little bit. Because um, I don't want the product to be too overly thick. Yeah, it looks like I might have nicked myself. Because uh, I was cutting a lot of vegetables and washing pots and pans. And uh, just... Anyway, I'm so sorry. ADD. Um, I got sidetracked there. So, yeah, I think smoothing it out right here so the product doesn't get too terribly thick um, is probably the way to go um, to do this. So, fix that one. Let's, uh, or prep that one. Let's prep this one. And again, I'm trying not to be too aggressive because I don't want to do a lot of damage to my natural nail. Well, that just took off so much of it. Oh my gosh, look how much product that took off. Yeah, note to self, always use the base coat first because this, uh, I can't believe how fast this was wearing. The key appears to be the base coat. All right, so what I'm going to do is smooth that out a little more. I'm going to apply the top coat in those areas. Well, I think first what I'm going to do is get a paper towel and knock off some of this dust. I'm going to use alcohol again to dehydrate the nail area. Um, if you have too, any kind of body oils or uh, anything left over from lotion or soaps, um, and that's true with any um, nail product. Uh, it will uh, hinder the adherence of any product. Yeah, this is coming. I just can't believe how good of a wear time I had with the last application. And this one is coming off so quickly and so easily. Uh, base coat is the bomb diggity. That is definitely where it's at.
Okay, so um, that actually went pretty well. Uh, the first time I did this nail, I didn't quite, there was one little spot that I kind of missed, so I went back in and did it again. Um, just a little bit of an application, but I gotta tell you, I don't know if you've ever had an issue where you had a manicure mess up and you tried to fix it and then it was just actually more obvious that you tried to fix it than if you had just left it alone. Well, I'm pretty impressed with this and I really think it has to do with the nature of this top coat. Uh, I don't know if you remember in the last video I talked about it being a self-leveling product and um, I'm even more convinced of that now because it really did blend in well and leave a very smooth application that um, uh, made it where it, it's just not real obvious. A little bit on this finger, and you can't really see it, I don't believe, but you can see where it's just a little bit thicker here up to about right there and then it gets a little thinner. But it's still, it's not super obvious. Um, so the manicure looks good. Um, so I will come back in a couple of days and check in again and see how it's wearing. Um, so we can definitely tell already that the top coat alone, which is what they recommend with the holographic and the metallic powder, well, for short wear, for long wear, they recommend you do the base coat, no curing, top coat, and then cure it and then put the powder on and then more top coat. This time I wanted to do a wear test with just the top coat without the base coat first. And I can tell you the uh, with the base coat first definitely wore much better than this is wearing so far. So we'll see how the rest of the week goes. I'll check in with you in a couple of days. Well guys, as you can see here, I had a bit of an issue. Um, like seriously, this whole nail kind of came off almost all in one whole piece um and so today is wednesday morning i applied this manicure on saturday morning uh the other places where i had to kind of patch it have held up pretty good i am having more wearing at the tips uh, than the last application i have a kind of a big chip here um and then of course this whole nail so i'm gonna go ahead and um reapply that nail uh, but stay tuned for further updates um, on this this particular application. Hey guys, it's Janine. So I'm checking in again um, with this manicure. Today is Thursday and let me show you this. You're just not going to believe it. I have fixed this same nail twice now and it keeps chipping and I'm not sure what's wrong here why this one nail keeps chipping but um, I am experiencing more wear on the tips in the last application this nail too has chipped quite a bit I'm trying to see but also get it to focus anyway so I would definitely say if you're going to purchase the Sistico Mineral Bond Nail Powder uh, System uh, and you're going to use the holographic or the metallic powders, I would definitely use the long wear application. Because when I used the long wear application, everything was perfect and I didn't have hardly any problems except where I had over applied the uh, top coat. So, uh, I really think this system is worth it. I just think that the long wear application is uh, the better uh, choice as far as getting long wearing results on your manicure. So, I'm going to come back uh, again. Today's Thursday, so I'm going to come back on Saturday and we're going to take one final look at the manicure and um, how things are looking. Anyway, see you on Saturday. Bye. Well, hey guys, this is my last check-in of the week, and as you can see, things have not gone that well this week. Um, a couple of these uh, nails, uh, the product just came off in, in really big chunks, and then easily chipped off from there. Um, some of the nails held up really well with just a little bit of chipping and wearing at the tips. And then as you can see, I've had some really problematic ones, and I think a couple of them, like this one and this one, was because something caused the nail to break. Um, I think I banged them on something I, I don't really recall, but I think that's kind of what got the polish started chipping, and then this one just started coming up in chunks, and this one did too. Um, so, 
Uh, I can definitely say now after trying both applications, the long wear and the short wear or normal wear, um, if you really want your manicure to look good for at least a week, um, go with the long wear because um, the normal wear or short wear really just doesn't give you very good lasting power. Um, so thank you so much for tuning in again to um, see this process with this particular manicure system with the Sistico nail powder. Um, I am going to go ahead and take this off and then in my next video I'm going to show you the application for the classic powder. So the last two applications we did were for holographic. Um, let me see. I want to I want to tell you the, tr the truth. So yeah, we did. I did the um, rose gold first and that was the holographic range and so was the pink shatter uh, was also the holographic range so the application for those was the same but this one that i'm going to do this week is a classic range it's quartz so it's kind of an opalescent white i'm curious to see if it's going to be opaque but i am going to follow the directions for uh, the classic range um, in the sistico book uh, of instructions and then I think the week after that I'm gonna do the metallic um, so we'll be able to get an, uh, an idea of how all of their different uh, powders apply and last and so forth um, so I'm gonna link because I'm not gonna go through showing you the removal process again I already have a video with that I will link it below um, so you can check that out and I'll also link my uh, long wear application below so you can check that out as well um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and then in the next video I'm gonna show you um, the classic powder application so thank you so much for watching and tuning in again for another one of these manicure videos I appreciate you guys and as always take care and be blessed bye now